What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back. Got a special one for y'all today. I'm gonna be tufting another rug. So it's a rug tufting video. And um, yeah, I think y'all gonna like it. I'm gonna take y'all along and show y'all the steps I take, you know, in the process. My room is empty right now. I gotta set up everything. Let me see. Oh, that's the first rug I ever did. This is going to be the second rug. This rug is going to be a Christmas gift. It's for a special person. You got to stay to the end of the video to find out who that person is. That's when I'm going to reveal it. So, um, let me get set up and I'll be back. Catch y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube, I'm back. I got all the materials behind me um, that you're going to have to use when you're tufting your rug. All the stuff that I'm going to use today. I got my yarn. That's the shaver for the long fibers of the yarn. Oh, guess if I pay attention to what I'm doing. The tufting gun right here. That's what the tufting gun looks like. My twill tape. Robert's 385. Heavy residential, moderate commercial traffic areas. As you can see, this is the custom fiends rug for my workspace. You can see how flexible it is. Same glue I use, and it's super flexible, super soft. It's durable too. Twilling tape, and then I got the monk's cloth. This is for the back. This is what the yarn is gonna stick into. And then this is the felt. It's a soft felt backing that I'll put on the, the rug. And then you're gonna need hot glue gun, hot glue sticks. You're gonna need more than that. And I got the spray adhesive. Before you put this on, you have to spray it with spray adhesive. You can get you some yarn cones from like a craft store. I don't see no sense in spending money on, on something like that when I can just use a paper towel roll. And I'll show you how to wind it. This is my frame. I built this frame from scratch. This is the bottom that goes on top of the table. Tack strip on it. I'll be back in a minute. Let me get this frame set up. All right, YouTube. I got the tufting frame set up. That's what it looks like. And then I got the projector set up. All right, so first things first, I grab my monk's cloth, start with the corner. I like to line it up with the yellow lines going vertical. I think I might try to do it horizontally the next time. I'm making sure the top is as tight as possible. Right now I'm just eyeballing you know, where I want to make my cut at. So I'll make a little slit, you know, cause I'm gonna take this monk, monk's cloth back off and measure with my meter stick and, you know, cut the rug to size. Now let me get this big boy off on the floor, get my meter stick, and then I'm gonna uh, start uh, my measurements, my drawings, and get it cut out. Y'all don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps the algorithm. <sighs> give your boy a like, give your boy a subscribe, and then hit that bell for the notifications uh, when I post other videos like this. Let's get to it. All right, done cutting out the rug. Now, boom, there it is. Nice and tight. Now it's time to trace. All right, YouTube. Now I'm about to trace the outline, and this is going to be the main focus of the rug, and then it's just going to be a white outline. Y'all, don't forget to mirror your image, so flip it. Let me get this back to size, because I want it to be pretty big. All right, now I'm using a permanent marker to trace the outline of the rug. Make sure when you're tracing, you are staying in the lines. Um, this is going to make your rug have the best detail possible. I might even project my image from the other side so I won't get in the way of the image when I'm tracing. But for now, this worked. So I'm going to outline the entire design and then show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. As you can see here, it turned out pretty good. All right, I got my tufting gun out. That's what the third goes. 
So if there's a little hole, this is the front handle trigger, power button, and the red light will let you know that it's on. This is the gear to make the see how I'm moving forward. The clutch. See that? That's going to turn. That thread is going to push through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the outline first. I'm going to go around and I'm going to fill it in. But first, I have to make a yarn spool. I'm making my yarn cake by hand. It's a lot slower process, so this took a really long time. But I don't have my mechanical yarn cake maker yet. It's coming in the mail. Pretty sure to speed up this process. Actually, I'm positive it'll speed up this process. So right now, you can watch me in a time lapse making my yarn cake. Then we'll jump to the next part, getting the pink yarn into the actual crown. I'm finished. It's the outside pool. This is what the cake looks like. I mean, this cake on the spool this way with the center pool. Center pool means that the thread or the yarn is coming from the center of the cake. When it's going through the gun, it should just feed up like this. This is to pull the thread through. Keep that handy because you will need it 100% later on. Turn it on. I have it in cut pile right now, which means every time it punches through, it's going to cut it. It's going to thread it and then cut it. A loop pile means that it'll just have one continuous thread through the whole thing until you stop it and cut it yourself. Right now I'm just marking which color goes where. So all the P's are pink. All the W's you see are white. Um, and it's just so I won't make a mistake I don't know it makes it more efficient uh, to me so that's a simple step mark off where your colors are that way you won't put the wrong thread in the wrong area time to start tufting so I'm gonna start from this middle part right here and I got my gun pressed into it now on the other side you will see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, I'm trying not to leave gaps. That way on the, on the other side, it's not gonna be gaps in between the yarn. It's gonna spread out, so it's gonna close those gaps. I'm giving y'all quality rugs. We don't cut corners. All right, so now you have to re-thread the gun. Um, I'm putting the yarn through the guide right now. Then I have to grab my threader, put it through the tip of the needle, and thread the yarn through and pull it back through that hole. Now, this whole process, you want to do this with the gun off. You don't want to, you know, crush your fingers up, rip them all up inside that gear. All right, YouTube, first yarn cake that you saw me make got me that far. And I'm gonna show y'all what the front looks like. It's gonna be a nice rug, y'all, I'm telling you. Boy, it's gonna be nice. All right, I'll be back. Hey, say hi, baby. Say, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> That's the wife and daughter. All right, be back. <laughs> Block yourself from the aliens, baby girl. Hmm. <laughs> I got my wife helping me right now unravel this because I'm doing it by hand. And then this should get me through the rest of the rug, I hope. Ah. Hey, see ya. YouTube, I just spent the last few hours fixing my tufting gun because my daughter pulled it off the shelf and made it fall and hit the ground. So, what's good, YouTube? It's the next day. Yesterday, my daughter broke my tufting gun. Luckily, being the handyman that I am, I fixed it. Um, but I just wasn't about to start back up yesterday because it got too late and I was sleepy. So, I'm back. That's how far I got on the rug.
working with a tangled mess is down to the end of this yarn and it's starting to get a little confused on what it wants to do. The crown is finished, so this part is going to get cut off when I go into detailing uh, with my scissors and this is what the crown looks like so far without detailing. This tuft and frame is 36 by 36. This rug is going to be probably 35 by 35. So if you're looking to make a rug like that, just know you're going to need at least 440 yards. All right, so now um, some people wait to the end of the tuft and process to clip the backing off um, but I, I like clipping the extra yarn as I work it makes me feel like I'm saving time um, maybe I'm not saving time but um, it's just a lot neater when I'm working I don't like seeing all those all that yarn hanging so I clip it off you have to do this step eventually but I do it right now in the middle all right so now I come around to the front and I touch up the front of the rug with the detailing uh, that yarn wasn't cut by the scissors during the cut pile so i just come manually do it with my own scissors that might have happened from when my daughter dropped my gun um but i did order a new one just in case that's the issue um so brand new tufting gun on the way Woo! YouTube, that's what it looks like so far. Immaculate. I love it already. spinner um had to go get it it was just taking too long to roll it by hand to make the yarn cake so i went and got a i'm threading two pieces of yarn through the tuft and gun now Now it's time to put the glue on. This is a 3085 uh, carpet glue. You may want to make sure you saturate all the fibers in the back. That'll give you the best results. And then I use the spray adhesive around the edges to fold the edges of the monk's cloth in um, to create that waterfall finish. Please go outside or somewhere that's well ventilated and wear a mask when you are using these products. They're VOC safe, but they're still harmful to inhale. So now I have my felt backing measure and I'm making sure I'm laying it the correct length and width. Um, now you have to spray it with your spray adhesive. You, you want to make sure you cover the entire back so that gray felt backing can stick to the back of the rug. You're not going to really be able to get up close to the edges. So right now I'm sticking as close as I can, making sure it's glued down. Um, and then I'll come back with my hot glue gun after I smooth it out. So now I have the hot glue gun. I'm making some extra trimmings around the edges to make sure it fits perfect. And then use the hot glue to stick the, the very tips of the edges down. Uh, making some extra trims of so carpet fibers won't go under. And then you move to putting your twill tape on. And 
now the carpet shaver brings out the detail. Alright, so you guys have seen everything I've put into this rug. I hope you like this princess rug and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, please, because it helps the algorithm as everybody knows. Help your boy out. Y'all have a good day, don't forget to smile, be happy, make other people smile. Thanks for watching Custom Fiends. Peace!